Looking to buy a new projector for a classroom, meeting room, or home theater? Well, you've come to the right place. The image you project on the screen needs to make a great impression on your audience. It's important you realize that not all projectors can deliver the same high-quality image. Give me about five minutes, and I'll provide a quick overview of the important points to look for in your next projector. Or feel free to skip ahead to learn more about a specific feature or subject. You can look here at this topic bar. It will update with the topics we are discussing. Now, buying a projector can get a bit confusing. There are a lot of acronyms and technological terms, but beneath all of the tech talk, there are three basic things to consider. Picture quality, ease of use, and reliability. First and foremost, the audience will be judging your presentation based on the image they see on the screen. So picture quality is your first purchase consideration. There are many things that impact picture quality. Let's look at a couple of major factors. First is a resolution. Resolution refers to the number of pixels projected on the screen. Here, bigger is better. The higher the resolution, the more detailed information you will be able to show your audience. Computers and projectors feature many different resolutions, but there are four that are the most common. First is 800 by 600 pixels, or SVGA resolution, and is the minimal resolution normally found in business projectors. Then there is 1024 by 768, or XGA resolution. It has higher resolution and is sharper than an SVGA image. Both SVGA and XGA projectors project a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, or more of a square-shaped image. It's sometimes referred to as a standard screen size. 1280 by 800, or WXGA resolution, is high definition, and it's 16 by 10 aspect ratio, or more of a rectangular shape. The 16 by 10 aspect ratio is true widescreen and provides 30% more image area than a standard 4 by 3 image. 16 by 10 is also the most common aspect ratio for new computer monitors. With WXGA, you can project a 720p HD image properly. At the top of the range is 1920 by 1200, or WUXGA resolution. This is also a widescreen resolution and can project true 1080p HD images. After you have found the ideal resolution and decided on widescreen or standard screen size, it's time to choose the right brightness level, which is measured in lumens. Now, the amount of brightness you actually need is determined by the room you project in. For projector use in classrooms and conference rooms, or rooms with outside windows, Choose a projector with a minimum of 2,500 lumens. For home cinema projectors, appropriate for theaters where ambient light is kept to a minimum, it will require around 1,500 lumens. However, it is important to mention that lumens, or brightness, is usually only a measurement of white light. It tells you nothing about the brightness of colors. Fortunately, several major projector manufacturers have recently introduced a new metric called color light output. Color light output provides valuable information about a projector's ability to deliver bright colors, which is critical for projecting photographs, videos, and other colorful graphics. If you're projecting images with color, look for a projector with high color light output. Ideally, the brightness of color should equal the brightness of white. Finally, the image quality you see on the screen can be impacted by the technology that's under the hood. There are two technologies used in the majority of all projectors, one-chip DLP technology and three-chip 3LCD technology. The technologies are different. 3LCD projectors use a three-chip design. This allows the projector to deliver bright, true-to-life images with high color light output, as well as high white light output. As an added benefit, 3LCD is power efficient. One-chip DLP technology uses a spinning color wheel to render color and has lower color light output than similar 3LCD technology. A great image is meaningless if the projector is too hard to set up and use. Look for a projector that has a wide variety of connectors. HDMI and USB can make your setup easier. Projectors with USB plug and play are equipped to connect to a computer via a single USB cable. These projectors make your setup easy and provide an instant connection to project. 
Some projectors have a wireless feature, allowing you to transmit from your laptop completely cord-free. Better still, some projectors enable you to play presentations or JPEG slideshows completely PC-free. The only thing you need is a USB memory device, like a thumb drive or digital camera. Now that we have an image going to the projector, we need to align the image on our screen. You want a projector that makes this alignment simple and hassle-free. Automatic setup is a great plus. Manual adjustment should require only a few steps. Having a physical adjustment button or slider avoids having to go into a menu system. Most projectors have some degree of adjustability, but some are more advanced than others. Here are a few higher-end features that are valuable alignment tools. Vertical and horizontal alignment, also known as keystone correction, corrects images by transforming them into rectangles for undistorted viewing. Sometimes these controls are automatic, and sometimes they're manual. An auto-sizing feature finds the edges of the screen and, with the touch of a button, creates perfectly aligned images from almost any projection angle. Okay, we have finished our presentation and it has gone exceptionally well. It's time to pack up and move on. Can you touch your projector or is it too hot to handle? Some projectors have instant on and off functionality, which allows for rapid startup and a short cooldown time. Some can go right into their carrying case with no waiting, which again begs the question, does your projector come with a case? So, you found a projector with a great image that's easy to set up and use. But if the projector is expensive to use, or it's not reliable, ultimately, you won't be happy with your purchase. Reliability and the cost to operate your projector comes down to mostly one factor, lamp maintenance. Look for a projector with a long-weighted lamp life, at least 3,000 hours is preferred. Filters protect the lamp and engine from dust buildup, keep your projector running reliably, and make for easy maintenance. Filter-free projectors have nothing to protect the expensive lamp from the outside environment, which may impact lamp life. Finally, in case something does go wrong with your new projector, you want to make sure you can get it fixed quickly. Service and support, especially in mission-critical situations, puts dollar-for-dollar -dollar comparisons in a whole new light. Buying a projector does not need to be difficult or complex. Consider the basic topics we discussed here and you'll be projecting brilliant images and impressing your audience in no time.